it ready. So it's tasting time. Oh, Hello, it's Sarah here again. Today we're going to cook pan fried bun. The reason why we're cooking this dish today is because many people have been asking to get this recipe. So we're going to show you right now. <clears throat> the steps are really simple. They may seem like there are a lot of ingredients, um, but actually you just chuck them all together, make the dough, turn them into a bath, you're done. And also fry them. <laughs> so first we're going to make the filling. So here's some pork mint, 500 grams to be exact. I'm just going to chuck in soy sauce, shashing wine, and sesame oil. That's that almost all of our, of our, our mix. mix. Already you can smell this deliciousness. So I'm just going to add some white cracked pepper, salt, and sugar. I'm going to add cornstarch. Optional, we don't, you don't have to use this, but chicken stock. Uh, we like to use it a bit because it gives out a lot of flavour. Oops, and I forgot you. Ginger. And then you can smell this beautiful aroma of the filling. Mixy, mixy, mix. Make sure you... Last of all, spring onions. <laughs> finally cut. Mixing. And... We've got this guy, it's water. The reason why we put in the water is to make the bao juicy. Because sometimes I love the sensation of when I have a bao or bun, you bite into it and this oozy warm liquid flies into your mouth. So the next step is we have to put it in the fridge to let it set. Because if you want the juiciness, we can't just put it in like this because it's going to be really hard and the meat will keep on sticking to you because of the water. So when we put it in the fridge, then the water sort of hardens, like not exactly ice, but just hardens. And then when you cook it, it melts. And then when you bite into it, into your mouth it goes. So, into the fridge you shall go just for about 30 minutes. simple 300 grams of flour 3 grams of yeast 30 grams of caster sugar and 150 grams of water so we're going to start off by adding our yeast and our caster sugar or whatever you like just mix it around before you add the water so we're going to use warm water so it can prove easily and gradually add in our water Mix, mix. Don't pour it in all at once, just gradually. Look, it's starting to rest. Goes. Oh, it's mixy, mixy, mix. So, time to knead our dough. Ooh, it feels so warm. That's what I like about making dough. It's just warms your hands up on a cold wintry day. So, just a little bit. Add in. Just try to get the flour to stick to your dough. Almost done. We're gonna divide it each 25 grams. First step is roll it up like a sausage. And now cut it in half. The remaining half even longer. Then cut it in half again. So we're going to divide this piece of dough into six because that's roughly, I already weighed it, it's roughly 25 grams. So just cut. Waiting for it to our uh, filling to finish setting. I'm gonna let my dough rest a teensy bit. Just make sure you use like a damp paper towel so it keeps its moisture. Just cover it up. Oh good to see you in about 20 minutes. Bye. Our dough has finished resting and also our filling has finished resting. So it's time to make the bell. Here is 
one I've, we've just done. Doesn't it look adorable? So simple and easy to make. One. We've got our tiny ball of 25 grams of dough. Roll it out as a circle. If you're quite skilled and like a professional, try this. You can actually just um, roll on the edges so the inside is more flat. Oops, and I also forgot. You don't forget the flour underneath the table. Mm -hmm. Oops. And again, 25 grams. So cute. Pinchy, pinch, pinch. Pinchy, pinch. Again, this involves a lot of pinching. <laughs> and done! How cute is that? And there you go. Ta da! All done! It's ready for cooking now! Oh, this is so cute! It looks like tiny little balls of fireworks. Can't wait to try them! Better get cooking! Time to get frying! So, first step is. Pour roughly about one tablespoon of oil onto your pan. Drizzle it like that. That's one tablespoon of six. And this is a little different. Normally we fry it bottom facing the pan. This time, top facing the pan. So it'll turn out pretty. So in you go. So this is like a crowded bun bun. So they're all stuck together. Become fat and then bigger than. <gasps> Let's hope it doesn't explode. Let me see. Perfect. Perfect. They look adorable. Definitely about seven if you're using a small bag. Straight away, splash in a bit of water, about a quarter of a cup, and then on the lid goes. See you later, little dumplings. On these buns. About low heat. And we'll see once this is ready. Which is when the water has been absorbed. Yay! Fun. Let's check it out. Wow, it looks awesome. Oops, Make sure you put a little bit. Oh, yes, Perfect. golden. Perfect. Golden brown. The water's gone. Did you turn it off? Yep. yep. Off it is. And guess what time it is? Tasting time! So much juice. It's all leaked onto my swing. The soup is like, mmm. Filled with those ginger shouting like you can practically taste every ingredient you have popped in. Mm -hmm, this is like the best. And the skin. It's so crispy at our bottom. Oops. <laughs> Still juicy. And on the top it's so nice and mushy. Mmm. And the juice. I love the juice. Mmm. But hurry, I wasn't going to eat all. See you later on another cooking adventure. Mm, I just finished this one first. 